Hey everyone, what's up? This is Simon from the Ionic Academy. In this video, I will show you how you can uh, easily open a PDF document with your Ionic app uh, and both uh, a local file and also a file which is on a server. So I've created a blank new Ionic app and we need to add a few Cordova plugins. So first of all, we add the file transfer plugin. Um, you might have heard that this is deprecated, but actually we can use it uh, still and still ongoing for a long time because it works and it will continue to work. Um, you might be able to do this on a other way, so uh, they won't work anymore on this plugin, but still the current version should work for a long time and it's great for downloading files to our device which we need if we want to display a file from a remote API or anything else like this. So the second one is uh, Cordova plugin file, which is also needed with a file transfer uh, in combination to write the file to our app um, and also to specify the location of the uh, file inside our apps folder or anywhere else on our device. Finally, uh, one more plugin uh, which we need is the document viewer and this is the plugin which will actually open our PDF file um, both the local and also the other one once we've downloaded it and what I've done so far as well is I've added a simple PDF uh, right to the assets folder of the app so we can try both uh, simply add any PDF you have around Finally, uh, make sure to finish our setup by installing the Ionic native packages for file, file transfer and the document viewer, so everything that we've just installed. All right, when this is done, uh, you can go to your app module and start by adding file, file transfer and document viewer and then go ahead and add all of them to the array of your providers so we can use them inside our app later. That's all for the setup phase so far. So let's continue with the home page. Um, actually, we just need two buttons. So button, ion button, whatever, um, nothing fancy here. And let's call the first one open local PDF open local and then a second button right below and this will download and open PDF so download and open PDF okay as well here let's get this right um, then we can continue with the actual home TSM we need a few things here so we need private document, which is our document viewer. Uh, then we need private file and make sure that you're not selecting this generic interface file, uh, but the right import from Ionic native. And finally, we need transfer, which is file transfer. All right, so we got our imports right. Let's add the two functions. So the first was local, the second was download and open. So for local, this is actually super simple. Uh, we can directly use the document viewer and say view document. And then we need the URL to our file, which is in assets slash, I think I call this five tools dot PDF, right? Uh, assets five tools PDF. Perfect. And this is still red because we need the content type. And for this, it's of course, application PDF. And it's still right, uh, red because we need the options. You could pass in an empty uh, object or you can create some options of the type document uh, viewer options. So the import also from this one and then specify whatever you like. For example, the title, my PDF, and then pass in the options if you want to. Simply check out the page of the document viewer for all the options you can set in here. So this is already enough to open a local PDF. This also works with the WK WebView on iOS. 
um, which had a tiny problem if we would have used only the file opener plugin. So let's continue with the download. Um, first of all, we need a path where it will be stored. And um, one thing we should add is platform, also from Ionic Angular, of course, uh, right here, because uh, we should check if this platform is iOS. Um, so we can simply uh, make a little split in which path it should be stored because um, the Android path did not work so well with iOS for some reason, I'm not completely sure. Normally the data directory is always fine on iOS, but in this case, um, perhaps the document viewer expects it to be in another path. So let's pick for iOS the documents directory and Android the data directory. Then go ahead and create your transfer object by calling this dot transfer create and then transfer download and then we need to fill in the variables. So first of all the source, uh, let me copy in one source I created so it's on my devdactic blog, something I just uploaded there. Then we need the target. Um, which is um, actually this should be the path plus um, whatever you want to call it just call it my file and then you will get back a file entry with a downloaded object and from this file entry you can now get the URL by calling entry to URL like this and this URL is now perfectly fine for, again, our document viewer. So go ahead, this document, view document URL, um, perhaps leave out the options in this case, and that's it. A cute little function uh, which will download the file to our local folder and immediately display it. So all in one uh, function. Super easy, super handy, and easy to use. As we've used Cordova plugins, we now need to check how this works on a real device or simulator, so let's go ahead with that. Here's the app on my iOS simulator and we can go ahead and simply open the local PDF immediately. This nice view comes up and we can close it and reopen it, we can zoom in, so it's a nice preview of our PDF. Now if we click download and open, it will take a few seconds perhaps to download the file and then we're back inside this document viewer. We can view the whole document, we can uh, somehow zoom in, but I guess I just broke my simulator now, it still works. And you also got these uh, options at the top, you see the little images at the bottom, so this is really a nice preview of our PDF. And that's it for today's quick win. Um, you can now open your PDF file both from your assets folder if you plan to ship them with your app or you can also download them just with a few lines uh, from any server you're hosting your app and then open it with the document viewer inside your Aonic app. If you enjoyed this quick win make sure to subscribe to my channel, check out also the other videos and also um, go ahead and join the Ionic Academy if you're interested in becoming an Ionic developer, uh, learn from all the courses, the great community and everything that we've prepared over at the ionicacademy.com. Have a great day and see you inside the next video.